Okay, all right, all right, all right. What's up, Twitter? What's up, Twitch? Gang, gang, gang. YouTube, what it do? Facebook, what's happening? On the Map Media family, I see you. Live in Atlanta, I see you. Salute. Instagram, salute. Check it out. Real quick, let's get into this. I remember when I first met Jacob the Jeweler. I, I ain't know I was going to meet him. But let me tell you how this went. It had to be like, I say about 95, 96, maybe 97, somewhere in that look, that area bracket, right? And I was going out of town with my cousins from Soundview selling a lot of cocaine out in West Virginia. And um, my cousin used to hang out with a lot of blood niggas from uh, Soundview because that's where he grew up at. You know what I'm saying? They, his name is Tuan Lo. You know what I'm saying? Antoine, right? Mr. Shepard, right? And um, he's still in jail right now, y'all, because of this shit in uh, West Virginia. But check it out. By the grace of God, I made it out of that shit. Check this shit out. So, he was getting a whole bunch of money. I was kind of like the the, 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 uh, the one who counted everything up and kept everything in order and controlled the books, right? Great with numbers. And... He wanted to get his jewels, wanted to get some jewels or whatever. So, you know, I was a little nigga, so I thought we was going down to Canal Street or something or Fordham Road or some shit, right? Third Avenue or some shit. Nah, he wanted the big boy shit. He wanted to go to the Diamond District. So I remember we went down there. We had, it was, we had Keith Crumb with us. Uh, we had Big Hirsch, me, and Twan Lo. Because there's only four of us that could sit in the white dynasty that he used to have. For those that know, they know. Right? And um, when we went down there, the nigga Jacob, when we first met him, he had looked like an Indian dude. So it kind of threw me off. You know what I'm saying? Because he was looking Indian and all that, but he was cool as shit. And one thing I learned, because I went down there when I met Jacob, I met him with drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? And gangsters. You understand? So, the nigga Jacob gave my cousin, I'll never forget, a 20 carat bracelet. He wanted like 10,000 for this shit. 15,000. You know what I mean? He gave it to my cousin for like 4,000. And then he came back and bought a ring to match it. It was the bone bracelets. When the bone bracelets first came out. But let me tell you something about the clarity on this motherfucker. This motherfucker looked it like a superhero bracelet, like lightning, like ching ching. Like if a nigga do this, ching ching, it'll blind you. Like the quality was impeccable. That's when I learned the four C's, color, cut, clarity, and carrot. That's when I knew the difference between that Canal Street jewelry versus that Diamond District jewelry. Them Chinese niggas diamonds and these other diamonds. I, I, I understood. Know what I'm saying? And I remember one time I asked my cousin, man, what happened to that bracelet? I think he told me some of the stones start falling out. But I knew he was lying. You pawned it. Because that was a piece of art, bro. That was a piece of work. That was a piece of work. You know what I'm saying? And this bracelet, boy, let me tell y'all, this shit has such a bling to it that if you just sit it on the table, it looked like it had batteries in it. It looked like it turns on. But that's the story I remember when we, when I first met Jacob the Jeweler. And from that day forward, shout out to Jacob the Jeweler. He always been showing love. When I got my Jacob watch from him, the first ones he came out with, he showed crazy love to the Taliban. So, you know, shout out to Jacob the Jeweler, man. And um, shout out to my cousin, Tuan Lo. Shout out to my man, Keith Crumb and Big Hirsch, wherever y'all might be in the world. Hopefully y'all still alive. But that's my story. Stay tuned.